All right, folks, got another unboxing in Amp Dino for you. Um, this one here is a little bit different than what we've done in the past. Um, this one is not a brand new amplifier. In fact, if you're looking for this amplifier new, chances are you're not going to find it. Um, so why am I testing this? You know, typically I test a lot of new amplifiers, uh, with the exception of that Elemental Designs 9.5 I did. Um, this is a open box, so I'm just trying to highlight some examples of other places that you can find a budget gem um, out there on the market. Um, I'm hoping this is a budget gem. Really hoping it's not a bust, because otherwise I'll have been wasting all of your time with this video. <laughs> well, but this is um, on Sonicatronics, they, Sonic Electronics, they have a... Um, area called warehouse deals where they have returns or open boxes or store demos and other things like that and I saw they had this one out there um, this one was 150 bucks shipped I said you know 150 bucks for a Hyphonic Cyclops Mount Olympus series Mount Olympus was supposed to be their highest end line um, that they had I said well if I can get that, it's a 3K max rated amplifier, um, does 1500 watts RMS, if you can see that down there. And for 150 bucks, for 1500 watts, I said, let's give it a shot, let's see people, can you search other places other than Amazon and other things for a really kind of good deal out there. So, let's open her up, let's see what comes in this open box. It is supposed to be complete. And all right, good sign that it's going to be complete complete off the bat. We got an offer to extend the warranty. Um, I don't know if they'll still do that, but we will probably not find that out. Uh, how to hook it up? You know, again, this is an open box. So some of these manuals and stuff are not in the best of shape. Speaking of manuals, you have your Odin and Cyclops amplifier manual. Um, and of course you have the amplifier, not wrapped in plastic. Typical what you're going to find. Um, over here, you have your remote base knob cable. And, ooh, this, is, this isn't bad at all here, I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, this remote base knob pull it out of the plastic. Uh, this is full metal, so it's not an El Cheapo. Um, and you've got on here, you have, it's selectable from 0 dB to negative 20 dB. And you have a diagnostic one here, so if your amp goes in to protect, you're going to be able to see it on your remote base knob up close to where you are instead of in the trunk where your amp is and you have a clip indicator so you know if you're in the green no distortion at all if it goes amber um, that means you're oh you're in the distortion part of the amplifier um, you haven't fully clipped yet and when it goes red you're now clipping so uh, that's that's nice for 150 bucks i wasn't expecting that now granted this was probably a 250 to 300 dollar amplifier when it was new um, so, even at that, you know, you don't typically find clip indicators on amplifiers sub $300. Um, that's usually reserved more to the higher end. Um, it's a heavy amp. This is not a light job by any stretch. Um, it's probably, based on the feel, at least 15 to 20 pounds. Um, I'm not going to throw it on the scale with there or anything like that, but just going by weight. Um, it's a pretty pretty nice looking amplifier. Um, you have brushed aluminum tops here with a, this is a, a brushed black um, steel top to the heat sink. Um, these are all engraved. Um, the Cyclops are all this stuff so it's not painted on. That's going nowhere. And of course brushed aluminum Hyphonics logo. Um, these are LEDs in here so this will light up. Um, as well as the side of the amps, say the amp will light up. Always a good indicator here is to 
what does the manufacturer really expect the amp to consume or what does it need for power zero gauge inputs for power and ground these are nicely spaced so if you are going to use let me make sure you can see it there they're nicely spaced here so I, I do hate the downward angle but at least the nice thing is that you have some space that if you are going to use some type of uh, reducer in there to connect your zero gauge or if you're just going to use a zero gauge to zero gauge adapter you don't have to worry about um, the metal touching plenty of room there um, over on this side you have I gotta keep it in frame for you guys uh, eight gauge for your speaker outputs and your remote input so that's nice along this side of the amplifier you of course have your outputs there for slave um, so if you want to link these amp or uh, I should say run them two on one two, uh, two amps one speaker you can do that over here is that clip indicator just like we had on the uh, remote bass knob you can switch it between master and slave you have your low pass filter subsonic filter which is adjustable from 15 to 35 hertz um, this is the remote right there so it's not the cheap little telephone cord that you will typically will find on others um, so that's nice bass EQ if you ever use that I don't so I don't care to talk about it does have bass boost and how much boost over different frequencies blah 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 you have your gain and your phase shift RCA inputs over on this side and outputs here so if you do want to link and uh, not run um, two uh, two amps bridged on one channel, you can you can do that um, and just daisy chain different amplifiers depending on how many RCA outputs you have. So pretty solid looking amplifier on the outside. Now we're going to dyno test it. We're going to find out do the looks match the performance. Um, Maxonics typically overrates most of their products um, usually you'll find the higher end ones will do its rated power dynamically um, so that's the dynamic RMS number that we do typically you'll find yes it will do it there um, certified number uncertified usually that's where these amps fall short um, this is their high end, so I'm hoping, praying, crossing my fingers that this doesn't continue that trend. And if it does, I hope it's not far off. Um, because I mean, at this val at this price, it's it's a heck of a value if it does what it says. So that's why we test it, and we got nothing left to do here but strap her on up and find out what exactly the high phonics. Mount Olympus series, Cyclops, Monoblock, 1500 watt, Ultra D class amplifier does. So I will talk to you all after the tests are done and give you my thoughts.
on the Hyphonix Cyclops from the Mount Olympus series. You know, the amplifier didn't quite perform to its ratings. We got a little bit under what it was rated at, at um, every ohm load, two ohms being the most disappointing. Um, but we just got, you know, the uncertified number, we only fell like roughly 20 watts short. Um, the certified number, roughly 100 watts short. And uh, dynamically, we were over. Dynamically, we got 1606. So, yes, this is a 1500 watt amplifier. Um, that's safe to say, close enough. Um, and again, when you, if you are playing music, you're, you're gonna get over that. Um, overall, is a value, you know, are, is this a budget gem or a budget bust? Keep in mind, I paid 150 bucks for that number. Yeah, it's a budget gem because everything this amplifier does offer. It does offer the um, clip indication, um, which I found that was very accurate. You don't typically find that on amplifiers around this price. Um, the granted, I know this, that's not what this amplifier was new. Um, you can't buy these new anymore. I had to buy this as an open box. And um, you know, you'll probably find these on eBay and other where else used. And if you find them for around 150 bucks in nice shape, um, go for it, okay? Um, as long as it wasn't abused. So, you know, being able to be strapped, um, having the clip indication, having zero gauge inputs for power and ground, having eight gauge um, outputs for your speakers, um, for your speaker terminals, and just overall look and feel of this amp, um, I'm safe to say I think this is a pretty good value. Um, so, yeah. Do I like this amp? Um, I do. I typically am not a fan of everything Maxonics. I don't know what this is going to have for a lifespan, you know, uh, until I can open it up and see what the guts look like. I don't really know what the longevity is going to be, but based on the feel of this, I mean, it feels like a fairly sturdy amp. I don't know if that's just all lead in the heat sink or not, but. Uh, I mean, this is supposed to be their upper end series when they came out with it, so um, pretty nice job. I wish you made your ratings, but um, close enough to where I'll call you a budget gem. So that's it for me. I got more amps to test. I'll see you all next time.